in a land where corn is king, farmed by America's best, and every bushel matters. Corn Warriors, it's personal. Wasn't looking forward to planting season until you guys showed up. Oh, I think the Corn Warriors. It's gonna be pretty interesting this year. You got uh, Mr. Randy Dowdy, then you got David, because he's kind of a god. You got me as self-proclaimed uh, Spartacus. I don't know, Lucas kind of reminds me of some kind of Aphrodite's type person, you know. Swanson, I have no idea yet. I ain't figured out a name for him yet. It'll be interesting. See them big dogs there, Randy and David duke it out once. I know one thing about Randy. You never count him out. My name is uh, Matt Swanson and I'm from La Harpe, Illinois. Today we are hopefully finishing our planter to be ready for when it dries out so we can get going. According to our, our formula, we should have started the 26th of April. Because we weren't ready, we didn't go, so here we are. I mean, whatever, whatever you think, I just, I need to. For us personally, I said last year was a pretty good year. Uh, we had some weather challenges, we had some things that we just didn't get right. So I'm not terribly disappointed. In, the, in our final number last year, I'm a little, I mean, it was less than we were wanting, right? So our, our goal was 400. That's how it goes. I mean, when you're a dryland environment, there's only so much you can do. And I hate to uh, pass it off on the weather, but the weather has some good control over it. So whatever rain we get is rain we save through no-till and, and, um, and rain that falls out of the sky. So if it doesn't come one of those two ways, then we're not gonna have it. Us compared to Dan, I mean, Dan has different soil types, and he's also got irrigation, so that's a little bit different animal. Some of the stuff we're trying this year new, we're gonna try, we're gonna plant some 15 inch corn, we're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna modify our fertilizer program again, uh, like we have been for five years probably now, every year something changes. We're gonna change some planting populations a little bit, we're gonna try some new hybrids. Uh, we've got a nice uh, Pioneer hybrid that won our plot last year. A little behind the eight ball uh, at the moment. Hopefully once we get going, we'll go good and then we can get caught up a little bit. We basically had to tear it down to the row unit frames and start over to make sure we had a quality piece of equipment. So that's taken a little bit more time than we had originally intended, but that's part of the reason we're a little behind right now. We won't quite probably break 200 hours of work into this thing, but we'll get pretty close. I mean, at this point, we're trying to get it ready so it'll be ready to go when it dries out again. So we're gonna move a seed treatment from, from contest to full farm this year. Uh, in the past we've done part of the farm, but this year we'll be across the board with it. It's kind of a, it's about a six to eight bushel gain uh, pretty consistently. We're gonna move some uh, infro inoculant stuff. We're gonna take it from contest to, to more acres, not to full acres, but more acres, quite a few, about a half. You know, a small piece that could make, a, make something else work better, so that's what we're gonna do. Are we going to catch Kevin this year? I, you know, I don't know. I don't envision anybody catching David. Quite honestly, he's in a, on a different level, but he's also in a different climate, and he has irrigation, and he has different soil types, which, which change how you approach the fertility, and he's been doing it a long time. If anybody unseats David, that's going to be a, quite an accomplishment. You know, Randy is, is somewhat in the same league, but at the same time, he lost to David by 120 bushel last year. It appears he's got some work to do. I think David's going to keep, get, keep getting better, so uh, Randy's going to have to work hard to catch up. Kevin's usually game for talk of smack, so I'm, that's interesting that he said that. So Kevin, Kevin Cal, one, I mean, he's a super, super guy. Uh, but uh, him and I, of, of the five guys in the show, him and I are probably the closest as far as production practices go. So he's got a, a clear head start. I mean, uh, Kevin's probably won it more than we've entered it. So, I mean, that's uh, as far as the contest goes. So that's that's one part of it. But uh, I would say it, it, you know, it probably tweaked me a little bit, uh, seeing him in the no-till, strip-till category last year. So, I don't know, he's probably, like I said, he's probably the closest in practices. And uh, if there's any clear, clear competitor in the show, you've got Randy and David. Uh, 
who are basically same class, same practices, and Kevin and I are close there, so. I'd say my sights are probably set squarely on Kevin's back right now. Time to break out the war drums, I guess, and see if we can catch him. Last year, we were first in Illinois in all divisions at uh, 315 bushel. I thought we could do better. This year, we're on a quest for 400 bushel corn. Push the envelope. Do things you haven't done before. Try new things, do yield checks, and research. At the end of the season, running the combine, if you see that monitor pushing over 300 and pumping good corn out, you know you've done your job. Hi, I'm Dan Lipkus. We live and farm in Chena, Illinois, which is in uh, pretty far north in Illinois. It's planting time. We've got some planting done, and we had a rain event, and we're gonna get back at it. So it's, uh, it's a time of year when we're really busy. Last year, we, we won a no-till division in Illinois. Uh, with I think it was 327. Still way under what we're shooting for. We're still shooting for 400, whether we get there or not, but that's our goal. This year we've got a better start, so I'm pretty optimistic. So I think, uh, I think we got a shot at it this year. We're making some of our own biologicals that's going on 100% of our own acres. It's those kind of things that uh, we feel that uh, have a good ROI and will take us to the next level. Our game plan is always increase yield, and if we get more bushels, it creates the less cost per bushel, as long as we don't get too carried away with our inputs, but that's part of the learning curve, so we're trying to find that sweet spot. There's times when the contest acres ROI is better, and there's times that it's not. Well, we're gonna load the planter. It takes us probably a little longer than some because we put a semi-load of fertilizer through the planter every day. Uh, and it's quite a bit of prep work and mixing to get all that ready. We're trying a few new things. We're trying a plot of BioVant this year. That's what we're going to give them a try. We're almost 100% agri-gold uh, on corn. I believe later in the season, we're gonna try some of Brandt products. Some guys have been having some good luck with that, so I think we're gonna try a few of those. We have about, I think it's about 450 acres that is uh, irrigated, and it's all on poor soils. That's why we have it there, because water is our most limiting factor on those soils. We are going over to a contest field that's been planted probably five days and we're going to see if it's germinating and sprouting and what it looks like. So this is a, a hybrid split. I'm going to dig a few of each, see what it looks like. You go get right in here. There's your seed. Take the little baby out of his cradle. Nice little root started and a good sprout. That'll be up in about two to three days, probably. Be coming out of the ground. So I'm gonna leave that one out. And we're gonna check another variety over here. Sometimes it takes a while to find them. It's like digging for buried treasure. I have a hard time finding them sometimes. There he is. Brown one. Hey, isn't he cute? He's just a little baby, it's getting started in life. You have to be gentler with these. This one's actually got more of a rut than that one's got. These little guys here are what we're, we feel is our best potential to hit 400 bushels in this field. So I gotta put these back, because I'll get 399.6 if I don't put these back. Now you gotta do a lot for me this year, guys. Okay, I'm counting on you. You got 150, 180 days to live. Make every day count. Take no prisoners. Soil starting to feel warm, that's a good thing. It was cold for a long time. It's warm and 
dry. It should come out of the ground fast. That's what you want. Well, I plan on winning that one more again. <laughs> that field we were in's got a boatload of potential. That's, that's been in seed corn because it, seed corn made the money. I've hit 400 in there. And that was before I ever even got in the contest. So. You're up with the sun raising your crops tirelessly strategizing to improve every aspect of your farm. So if there were simple innovations you could use to multiply that work, would you use them? BioVant Biologicals are ahead of the curve with proven quality products that are easy to use and tank mix ready. From soil to seed to harvest, BioVant partners with you to maximize your yield potential. BioVant. Experience more. So I talked to Dan probably maybe uh, once a week or so. Uh, him and I are, he's a little bit farther north. Uh, but we've kind of gone back and forth, tried to get some, bounce some ideas off of each other, tried to, uh, try to make both of us better. So maybe I can uh, use something from Dan to, uh, to beat Kevin. That's kind of my, uh, kind of my strategy right now. Anyway. Uh, being a, you know, a few hours away, it, it's, it's always interesting to know what he's doing see if it's something we can use here. He's got some different soil types and he has irrigation so there are some differences. Um, but being as close as he is, um, it would be good to know, you know some of the little stuff that he's doing that maybe can make a difference down here. Some of it may work, some of it may not, but uh, always nice to have that information. I mean say if I were at Dan's and I were to notice something that may be useful, I may file that information away, hypothetically speaking. Thought I had to come up here to get some parts. I thought we'd stop by, <clears throat> see what Dan was up to. Maybe scope out some of the stuff he's using. Some of the stuff he's trying to keep in his back pocket. We'll see what we got in here. Anyway, I don't know what to... didn't tell him when I was gonna be here, so he may or may not be around. We'll see. I guess. Hey! Dan! Hey! It's Matt Swanson, my idol! How are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm investigating, investigating. Investigating? I'm investigating, yeah. Well, what are you doing in the neighborhood? Uh, I come get some parts. I had to go to Dolmar get some parts. Oh, very good. Thought I'd swing by and see what you're up to. Well, we're just getting, I was out mixing some fertilizer. Yeah, I heard the uh, pump running back there, so. What, uh, how are you getting along? I haven't started yet. You haven't started. <laughs> I haven't even started. Oh, you know, I've been working on that uh, that new planter, putting all that mm, precision stuff on there. So. Oh yeah. Hopefully we'll be ready when it dries out. Anyway. Well, it'll probably be pretty sweet once you get it going. It's going to be yeah. awesome when I get it going. I think. So Dan and I talked about some uh, some fertility uh, things that him and I are both working on, some micros and things and timing and placement. So those are a couple things that we've already started to implement this year and I'm, I'm hoping that gives me a little more confidence in what we're doing in the idea anyway. So maybe uh, in, that, in that regard anyway, Dan was pretty helpful. Right now they've got rain in the forecast about every day for the next week. I assume, I'm hoping we don't get all of those, but we'll probably catch some. So it looks like if we get dried out, we'll have another one or two days and then we'll have to uh, wipe that rain out and start over again. The planter was just mechanically not in as good shape as we thought it was, so it took us quite a while to, uh, to rebuild it to, to field ready um, status. It's been a challenge, especially having to watch everybody else go, you know, roll while we're still trying to get ready. So it's been nice to, to finally get started. Uh, we had the first day, we had a few, you know, new equipment bugs to work out. Uh, we've finally been able to, uh, to get going. We've got the, the Pioneer plot in, the Agrigold plot in, and, uh, and also a couple others. So we are basically done with contest corn at this point. 
just a matter of finishing up all the production anchors. For over 65 years, Brandt has been helping growers achieve better results. We bring the very best plant health and fertilizer solutions to the farm. Through research and innovation, we help growers implement new practices that improve the quality and abundance of food, fuel, and fiber around the world. Brandt, professional agriculture. Visit Brandt.co for more information. My name is David Lipkiss. I'm Dan Lipkiss' son. I took care of the cattle today. Uh, that's kind of been my chore over winter. Uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say that this winter was a little challenging. Uh, it seems like we had some poor weather that uh, a lot of wet weather, wet and cold weather never mixed well with cattle and we lost a few calves unfortunately. So I got engaged to my beautiful fiance, Kimberly Durward. Uh, very excited to marry her and spend the rest of my life with her. She's been helping us with the tea and that saves us quite a bit of time. I think she spends a couple hours every day and sometimes she'll bring me pants. It looks like we're going to start working ground this afternoon. We'll probably be okay. planting tomorrow. Okay. So if you want to make a batch of tea, yep. that yeah. way it'll be ready by tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Before we like get moving with a whole lot of stuff, we got to fill up our our compost baskets. This is like a 500 gallon tank. So there's four of them in this tank. We'll fill up with compost all the way up to the top of the filters. And then we'll put them back in here. I get to marry a lip kiss, so I'm gonna be changing my last name. See, it's pretty, huh? Got them all hooked up to the aeration system. Then the fun part comes in. And we got this compost Tea catalyst. This is basically food for the organisms that we're growing. So without this, we're not gonna be able to grow anything. We're just kind of gonna be putting a lot of water in a big bucket full of compost. So this is really the key and central ingredient to this whole big batch of stuff. So I'll turn on the air. So this is the fun part that makes it all like look like a big huge hot tub. That's how you make our little compost tea and well, our little witch's brew. We had uh really cold spring. It was cold, cold. And we started with beans last week and it was very cold when we started. And uh, But now the temps have warmed up and pretty optimistic now. I said this before, kind of competing against myself to better myself every year. And we, we have. So we're, we're learning and we just keep pushing. I would say Hula will probably win again. Randy will be a close second. Randy's right at the top of his game. He's been first many times. He got his butt kicked by Hula this year, but uh, that's okay. He'll be back trying to be on top this year. We'll just be up here in Illinois putting out what we can get out. We, we can't run with them guys. Partnered with Farmer's Edge to use some of their technology. They've done our soil testing for us, and it looks like they, we've got the results back. They've done a good job. They've done our prescriptions. I'm looking forward to seeing their imagery. They supposedly have some of the best imagery on the market. He's already there. If you want to do it, we got to go. I'm probably going to have to take you because it's the only way we're going to get there fast enough. Now, Melissa's down at her warehouse. Her main deal is selling seed and fertilizer and stuff like that, so she's got her own business. Now we got to find her. Hi, how are you doing? Good, I'm Mike. Good. So, I've ordered them both ways, but it's just... I think no age is dead. I think... My most gone. limiting factor is just my sheer strength. So right now, I am loading uh, beans up for a grower who was nice enough to come to my warehouse and pick them up. He got three different varieties of soybeans. We're trying to spread the risk. We're around here, we're early planting, so 
I got him three different maturities of beans, so I'm loading them by maturity. This forklift I bought when I first started out, it was used. Her and I have an understanding. She just doesn't quit. She's old and wore out, just like I am, but we just don't quit. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I ripped my pants, so. I know. Yeah. I, I know. know. You're gonna have to figure out better pants. It could be worse. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Love you. Love you too. Yeah. Matt Swanson actually came to visit us last night. He's a good guy. Farms three and a half, four hours south of us. I always enjoy talking to him. Well, I don't know. I think he was, uh, you know, trying to find a few secrets maybe, you know, it just kind of caught him going through my paperwork and kind of left sneaking around the sheds, you know, and it was dark. That was kind of funny. He just showed up in the dark. I happened to be out here, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Well, we hope to finish planting corn this week. We've got probably four to five days, and uh, I hope like heck we can get it done before the next rain comes in. Well, we're down at Dubois, Indiana. We had to bow to the king last year, Mr. Hula. Start of a new year, playing field's level again, and we got a new participant, Randy Dowdy. Kind of excited about this year. You know, naturally, you try to be better every year. I think that's everybody.